Welcome back to Algo Trading Series using Fine Script and Trading View from Market Secrets. In this episode, we are going to learn how to create a moving average crossover strategy using Fine Script. So we are going to create a moving average strategy and we are going to backtest it using Trading View. That's our plan today. So let's get started. I'm opening the Fine Script editor. So first of all, right, to create a strategy, we need to swap out the indicator declaration here with the strategy declaration. So I'm going to change this to strategy. And I'm also going to give a name for my strategy, my moving average cross strategy. Also, we are going to add this indicator to the existing, uh, you know, chart layout. We are not going to create a separate indicator or, you know, separate plotting as such. We are going to plot it on top of this existing chart. So, I am going to give overlay as true. Okay. So, it's done. It's uh, currently throwing some error. Looks like I missed a double quote. Okay. All right, uh, so this is the first uh, step. Now, what we will have to do is like we need to create two moving averages and we need to assign the data to those uh, variables or to those indicators. So, what I'm going to do is like I'm going to create two variables and assign uh, the corresponding indicators to it. So, first one is short uh, uh, simple moving average. So, short simple moving average is equal to TA dot sma so and we are going to use the closing price and i'm going to go 10 so 10 will be my short uh, uh, moving average and i'm going to create another variable long long sma ta dot simple moving average dot close of 30 so this will give you two moving average values in these parameters okay so we'll get the value of these two moving averages in these two data variables now we need to create an rsa indicator so as a confirmation signal we are going to use rsa so we'll create an indicator for rsa uh, to confirm our entries and exit so i'm going to you know create another parameter rsa equal to ta dot rsa of close comma 14 so i'm for using 14 period uh, rsa so 10 short moving average and 30 period uh, you know uh, long uh, simple moving average and you know 14 uh, rsa 14 period rsa so this is what i'm going to use so we are not going to use any other symbols here so i'm not going to use security function that we discussed in the earlier episodes okay now we want to create our crossover conditions okay but uh, you know one lucky thing with trading view is that it has a built-in function for that already i mean to detect the crossover uh, functionality so we don't need to code all of it manually so first is uh, like we have uh, two conditions here first one is a short moving average that is 10 period moving average crosses above 30 period moving average so it is like you know one moving average cross over uh, to another short one crosses over to long one so that is generally a case for going long likewise there is second condition which is opposite of it which is cross under uh, so in this case right so the short moving average will cross under the long moving average so we need to code for both the conditions here so i'm going to create um, you know uh, two another variables uh, to save uh, you know the output of this crossover and cross under so whenever this crossover or cross under happens right so these variables will get updated to true so we'll automatically be able to direct it so let's uh, you know uh, write the code for the same so i'm going to create a variable long condition Okay, looks like the ad is blocking so i'm going to create long uh, condition equal to t dot crossover so there's a crossover function i'm going to directly use it i'm going to use short sma and it should cross above long sma so this is uh, the first condition for going long likewise we need to write for going short so i'm going to create a short condition and this will be cross under So 
now uh, we have completed the uh, cross over and cross under conditions so whenever these variables any of these variables turn true uh, it indicates that there is a cross over or cross under okay so now what you need to use like we need to use an if statement to check whenever these conditions are changed uh, to true and then we need to execute a trade based on that okay so i'm going to write an if condition now so if long this if this uh, variable becomes true that in indicates there is a crossover so i have to go long so i'm going to use strategy dot entry so i'm going to take an entry and i'm going to call it as long and it will be like strategy dot long comma 100 comma when equal to rsi greater than 50 So there is some extra bracket, so I'm going to remove those extra brackets. Okay. So this built-in strategy function can be used to enter into the trades. So here there are a few parameters that we have passed into the function. We have discussed this uh, uh, in detail in the earlier episodes, but let's go through it uh, once again. Okay. So first one is a long. So this is nothing but trade ID. So if you want to track this particular trade in the future, for example, if you want to close or cancel or exit, in such cases, you need to use this uh, trade ID. Uh, so you need to, you know, have a unique ID to, you know, uh, work within multiple trades if you want. Okay. And likewise, there is a, an next parameter strategy dot long. So this is uh, a built-in variable that tells the pine script that we are going to go long. So you're taking an entry and you're going to take a long side entry. Okay. So you're going to go on the long side so uh, that's the second parameter so third one is a uh, hundred which is nothing but your number of shares uh, that you want to trade and lastly I'm using a parameter when uh, equal to RC greater than 50 so this is just an additional parameter that tells the pine script to execute this entry only if the RC is uh, higher than 50 so this trade will be triggered only if the RC is 50 when this crossover happens so this is how uh, you know you need to take an entry so like the long condition you need to write a, a you know similar script for the short condition so i'm going to use short condition and i'm going to take a, an entry on the short side and i'm going to call it as a short so this is a unique id so i'm marking it as a short side entry and number of shares will be same and the rsi should be less than 50 so since uh, we are you know actually um, uh, you know running a strategy you don't have to plot anything over here but uh, it's better to do it actually it is nice to nice to see actually uh, you know these sms on the chart so that we can confirm that the trades took place at the right places so uh, you know if you want to confirm that you can uh, you know plot it so uh, let's plot uh, the moving averages now so i'm going to use the plot function going to use plot short SMA and and just to I'm going to plot long SMA and uh, if both SMAs are in same color it will be you know slightly difficult to you know distinguish so I'm going to um, add a color to the long SMA okay so now if we save the strategy so I just saved it control s or you can click the save button to save the strategy and then you can add it to the chart so if you look at here there are two warnings here so this is just a warning so you can ignore it um, so you can just uh, click add to chart if you do that if everything is good um, it will get added to your chart actually so you could see uh, you know uh, the long SMA in uh, red and the short is in blue and um, you know whenever there is a crossover a trade uh, would have been initiated so here we went long here you know cross under happened so it went short and uh, if you continue to move right so here there's a crossover so another long another short for cross under and likewise right there is another crossover here and um, you know uh, it took a long 
so this is how your screen would look like okay likewise if you go to the bottom right you'll be able to see the performance of it as well so by default uh, right so you'll be able to see um, the detailed uh, performance overview so your net profit would be 15 percentage and there are 137 close trades and um, you know the max drawdown was around 8.84 uh, percentage so on an average trade uh, you know you made this much amount that is 1120 rupees and if you switch the time frames right you will see different results i mean it will automatically switch to um, you know uh, i mean it will automatically uh, you know switch the relevant uh, outcomes as well so if it is five minutes you just got three percentage uh, returns and if it is in one hour chart let's see what we get so it's 43 percentage so higher the time frame the more uh, uh, profits you are getting with this particular strategy and uh, likewise the drawdown is also on the heavier side okay so if you want to see the detailed uh, reports also you can go and uh, you know look at the detailed reports if you want to see the list of trades triggered you can do that as well so you know you can even see whether uh, this um, um, you know trade whatever that is being triggered is matching whatever this crossover that's happening right you can also you know verify that as well so this is how you need to create a moving average crossover strategy so if you have any queries comments or feedback about this episode leave it down in the comment section i'll be happy to address it also we have recently launched python based algo trading uh, from market secrets so if you are someone who is interested in algo trading in the indian markets that too through passive trading with just one trade per day then you can consider joining our atp which is algo traders program from market secrets the details of algo traders program is available in our website i'll leave the link to it in the description section of this video please watch it if you are interested in algo trading and with that i'm closing today's session hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful also subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session thanks for watching have a great day goodbye